Welcome. I was called Fred Heber. I work as an archaeologist and explorer for National Geographic. Do you remember what it means to be an archaeologist? It is simply that I explore and study the past by excavating, observing, and writing about archaeological objects and sites. During my daily work I use a lot of tools such as word processor program for writing reports. Excel spreadsheet program in preparing and expressing graphs. PowerPoint presentation software for presenting research results to my team because it makes the slides easy to read and makes the information clear. I also use paper letters and email to communicate more formally. Excuse me. It's my phone. I must answer. Certainly one of my students has sent me a message via WhatsApp to know the date of our next meeting. Hello Dr. Fred. How are you today? I'm fine, how can I help you? I would like to inquire about the date of tomorrow's meeting, I am very excited. Actually, son, as of tomorrow I will be on a scouting trip abroad. Oh my god, but it's an important meeting. You promised us that we would talk about the discovery of the lost palace. Do not worry. We can still hold the meeting despite these challenges, even if each of us is in another country. We can do virtual meetings through the Zoom program. Well, I will tell my colleagues and we will keep in touch. Bye. You, my friends, can also communicate and attend virtual lectures and meetings through the Zoom program. If you are unable to meet your teachers face to face. Now I will complete my daily chores. Goodbye. Lesson 2. Computer Accessories. Welcome. How are you my friends, like I did before, you can also use ICT tools to share and exchange ideas. Your computer components must be working properly. I will take you on a simple tour through which we will learn about computer accessories. At first, I want to review the projects for the students, which they delivered to me via their flash memory. Do you have one like it? It may have different shapes, but it always serves the same purpose and function. It is mainly used to transfer files and data from one computer to another. During my work I may need to access the internet. First, make sure that the router is working, the router. It is a device that connects the computer to the internet via Wi-Fi. Or Ethernet cable. Ethernet cable, it is a cable that connects the computer to the router. It is inserted into a dedicated port on the computer called Ethernet port. The Ethernet cable connection is more stable and faster than wireless connections. And now, do any of you have any questions? Yes. Please, Dr. Fred. Yesterday I was watching an educational channel. But the picture was not good. Although I have seen it with my colleague Isong. In high definition quality. Does this have anything to do with my hardware accessories? Of course it has to do with computer accessories. Where displays are connected in more than one way. But to see channels and videos in high definition. You must use the high definition multimedia interface, HDMI. It is a wire that transmits sound and image to and from devices. I am also Dr. Fred. I have a question. I was trying to transfer some educational videos from the library via flash memory. But it refused to download because there is not enough space for storage on the flash drive. What is the appropriate solution for that? It's simple. All you have to do is use a larger storage drive. Like an external hard disk drive. External hard driver. It is like a hard disk drive. But it works better and faster. Next time I will tell you more about the units of measurement for storage capacity. It was a hard day's work. However, I have to prepare a presentation for my students. I promised them to talk more about storage capacities. I will share the work with you now through the computer screen and we will do the project together. The computer uses the binary system, which is two digits 0 and 1. The basic unit of storage in a computer that describes 0 and 1 is a bit. B-I-T abbreviation for binary digit. It is the smallest unit of measurement for data stored in a computer. I even store it on my computer. Use more than one bit. So if I take 8 bits and add them together, it becomes a new unit of measurement called byte. That is, 1 byte equals 8 bits. 
one byte is a suitable space for storing a written letter on a computer. So if you want to write a story of a thousand pages, you will have to use a thousand byte. Which brings us directly to the largest volume of byte. It is kilobyte. One kilobyte equals 1024 byte. Indeed if we add 1024 kilobyte, it becomes megabyte. It is abbreviated with two letters. MB. In other words, 1 megabyte is equal to 1024 kilobyte. It is enough space to store a book, a picture or a minute of audio. And now you may ask. If we have a thousand megabyte. What is it called? Specifically, 1024 megabyte is called gigabyte. That is, 1024 megabyte equals 1 gigabyte. It is enough space to store 400 books. Or a thousand pictures. Or 16 hours of audio. If we have a thousand gigabyte. It's called terabyte. In other words, one terabyte equals 1024 gigabytes. It is the largest unit of measurement for storage. It is enough to store 400,000 books. A simple calculation is equivalent to 30 school libraries. Or a million photos. Or two years of continuous acoustics and music. There are also units of measurement for speed. The first, like a megabyte in the second. It is a unit of measurement used to measure network speed or internet connection. The higher the network speed, the better. The second, like gigahertz. It is a unit of measurement of the number of cycles a CPU performs per second. The higher the number of cycles, the faster the processing of data and instructions.